way to the rent fair. Hello, today we are at the largest rent fair in the world and we're gonna go shopping and buy our entire outfit here today. And we're gonna try to make it affordable as much as we can because I know a lot of people think, oh, if you're gonna buy stuff at the rent fair, it's going to be super expensive. And I agree with them, it can be, but we're gonna try to make it affordable. I'm not saying this is for everyone. I just thought I'd give it a go. Let's see, see what we can come up with on a budget. The look I'm going for is Lord of the Rings elf. I'm going to try to keep this as cheap as possible without it looking like a spirit Halloween costume. So the outfit's still gonna look legit. It's still gonna be by small businesses within the rent fair, but we're gonna find small businesses that actually make stuff affordable for people like me. So let's go. Hello. The goal for the day is to not die of heat stroke. The second goal for the day, do a little bit of shopping. It's really hot today. I was camping out at the Rin Fair, therefore I had ample time to go through many shops to find the most affordable ones. Also, if you wanna check out my camping video, I will link it here. So this is the look we started out with at the beginning of the day. We're the Shadowed Stranger, and I just took a look in there and they have a lot of leather goods that are affordable, and it's the cheapest I've seen. There could be cheaper stuff, but I mean, it appears it's pretty cheap for being real leather. So we're gonna go take a look and see if we can find myself some bracers and maybe some other things I can attach to my outfit. And yeah, I'm really excited for purchasing these because I've always wanted a pair, so. The Shadowed Stranger Armory had so many different leather accessories that I felt were at a very affordable price point. I could have even gotten cheaper bracers, but I did go with the ones that were 45 instead of 30. I highly recommend checking out this store in person just because there are so many great belt accessories along with other leather items as well. Oh, these are nice. They're $45. That's really cheap. Look, they have specialty ones with little daggers. These are even cheaper. I think they're 30 or 35. They're smaller. I think I want it to take up my forearm. I think I'm going to get these ones. Look at this. It's a ranger tunic. We're not going to get it. It's out of my budget. But it's so nice. This is a... Uh, 200 oh wait no this one's 265 maybe one day i'm gonna check out so i got these two bracers they were 45 dollars for the pair which i think is very affordable very happy i found the store they have very cute items okay so the first store i'm gonna go into is boss winch I don't know, I was walking by. I haven't gone in there yet, so I just wanted to see what their prices were. So let's see if we can find anything worth purchasing. Boss Wench was probably one of the more well-known clothing stores I went into. They have historical dresses and other pieces of clothing in multiple styles with multiple different colors to choose from. I've been looking for the most affordable bodice I can find, and I just found one for $85. <laughs> Which is a really good price because normally they can run around like, they can run up to like $300. So, how perfect is this? It's reversible and it even has this beautiful design on it which just reminds me of Lord of the Rings. So this would be great. I get two in one and I have a patterned side which is something I don't currently own. But look at all these beautiful designs. I'm gonna try this on. I'm really excited I just found something cheaper. I didn't think it could be done and it's been done. I found this amazing goddess dress that it can be worn many different ways. It comes in different colors, but the color was just perfect for an elf look, like a Lord of the Rings elf look. But look at these. It's so pretty. Obviously I have my bracers already, so I want those to be shown and I was confused as to whether it would work with this dress, but you can tuck it underneath, like the extra material to create a little cap sleeve like this, and then I can see my bracers, which I think that works. 
it's kind of versatile and not to mention the legs the bottom they tie it's split here and you can tie them and it looks like little pants I don't know I was considering getting a separate skirt and top but I think this would be the most budget friendly because this is $115 so as opposed to getting like two skirts for 50 to $75 each and then a shirt on top of that which would be like 40 to 75 I think this would be the easiest and the cheapest route so we're gonna try on one of their bodices next because they have reversible bodices and they're also budget friendly so I'm gonna try that on now it's 95 it's black on one side and it has this pretty print on the other side which I think is perfect for this type of elf look I'm not gonna do it all the way up because I know it fits it's my size but it's adjustable here on the side and in the back and it's black on the inside. I don't know, I just think this is so perfect. It matches my bracers really well and it gives that elf vibe. So this is another short sleeve top. Okay, this is really breathable and it's nice because it ties and I love the sleeves. It's very cute. It might not be the most budget friendly if I have to buy bottoms as well because this top alone is 40. It looks good too. It does? Yeah. And it can also go on shoulder like this. After careful deliberation, I think I'm gonna get this top because it's just so flattering on me and I don't have anything in this color, so I think I'll wear it a lot. And it looks great with bodices, so. I like the dress, but I'm so hot right now, I can't fathom wearing a dress currently because it's like 87 out, but I really like this top, so I think I might spend the extra money to get two different pieces and then i can wear those two different pieces with multiple outfits over the years so in the end it will be more cost effective and worth it that's my thought process that's what i'm telling myself so yeah so they have lots of different price points for the shirts they all range from like 35 to 40 which is really affordable they have like bell sleeve options this is like a little pirate shirt it's so sweet i love stuff like this and i want a top like this really badly but it's just, it's too hot. This is the one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna wear it out of here. I'm also getting the bodice. I'm not gonna wear it yet because the place I'm going to, I was gonna get their bodice, but it was cheaper here, so I feel bad. So I'm going there to get a skirt, but I don't wanna wear the bodice and be like, oh, hey, got a bodice somewhere else. Also, um, the price point on the bodices was wrong. It's 95, not 85, but still, that's the cheapest I've found and I've been to every store here, so. Most affordable one. Washer dryer safe. Um, cold water wash, hang to dry okay. on the bodice. Mm -hmm. um, non alcoholic wipes to clean off the little schmutz. Okay. Otherwise, half vodka, half water. Cheapest vodka you can buy. And what you do is you lay it open and you lightly spritz it. You manage to go mud wrestling it. First, we want photos. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, you go into Walmart and get home dry out yeah. and dry clean it yourself. Okay. You take any of those clothing to a dry cleaner, mm -hmm. their harsh chemicals are liable to destroy the tissue. Now we are at Unicorn Clothing, it's booth number 21. And I saw some pieces here yesterday that I thought would be good for this look, so let's go in and take a look. Unicorn Clothing was established in 1973 by Terry Evans when she started selling her original clothing at street fairs and craft shows in California. All of these garments are handmade in Santa Barbara, California. They consist of many different styles with a ton of different color options to go with any look. Pants. They're gonna be too hot, but they're so cute. The full on sets that you can buy where all the pieces are already put together. So this includes like the bodice, the shirt, a dress, a skirt. Wait, it's only two seventy altogether. That's really. Sh Oh, whoa, okay. That's affordable for a full rent room. Two seventy? What am I doing out here? I could have just bought an entire set, and it would have been cheaper than what I've already spent. Too late now. Anyways, maybe something like this, because I could wear this on top of dresses 
in the future and I don't want something super long because it's so hot. I think like if I did this brown with the green and then the bodice, <laughs> it might do the trick. Which brown do you like? This warm brown or this cool brown? Which one? The lighter one. This one? The warm? Yeah. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna try on this skirt. It's $40. So that with this top, 80 bucks. Okay. Not a bad deal. Okay, so this is one size fits all. 40 bucks. I like the color a lot. I think it's gonna look nice with the bodice. And then it, it will look like a whole outfit. That's the goal. And it's not too hot. I mean, I'm gonna be hot regardless, but it's not too hot because it's short. And I can use it with other looks. Now it's time to check out and go get some armor. So I put on my bracers. I don't even know what this looks like because I can't find a mirror. I still want a leather arm piece. I don't know the proper name. I know people are going to comment it, but uh, yeah, I want to go get that. And I think I need a headpiece because Lord of the Rings has that. So we're going to go look for that. I saw a store back there that had like ears and stuff along with headpieces. So we're going to see how much they cost. So let's go. We're at Prince Charming. It's number 24. All of the shops I've been going to are at the front of the park. Maybe the more affordable shops are at the front of the park. Just throwing it out there. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but they have a bunch of headpieces. I don't know how much they are, but let's go. Prince Charming makes headpieces out of different materials and I could not find any information on them online, but I did list their email that was given to me on their business card. So if you do, want anything from them because they had very beautiful pieces be sure to send an email their way this is very lord of the rings right yeah oh my gosh it's perfect i like this one it's like stretchy it's 25 or there's this one which is like a little more to it i don't know I normally don't like these on me, so I feel like I might get this one just because it doesn't like squish my head. Yeah. I don't know. It's looking like I'm gonna have a little more room in my budget, so I am going to get the more expensive one, which is 35. It was $37, and this is what we've got so far. We're going to go get the arm piece, and that's gonna be the entire look. I think that would like complete it, so let's go find an arm piece. I'm currently at Rev's Armor Works and I'm gonna look for some leather pieces. Hi! I'm back. Rev's Armor Works is owned and managed by Rev and Troy. The company has grown from working out of a two car garage to a year round production facility at five locations at the Renaissance festivals across the country. All of their products are proudly designed and handcrafted out of 100% premium leather. They have over 130 leather products, and when you purchase an item from them, they customize it to fit you specifically in person. Okay, so I found these. This is kind of what I'm looking for, like an arm piece like this. You know? But this is really big. So they have smaller options in different colors. And I originally wanted like a light brown, but my bracers are a little dark. They do have this one, which is really pretty, but I think that one matches a little better, right? This one is 85, and the larger one right here, this one's 95, which is a really good price point because the other ones I've been seeing here are very expensive, like 250. So I feel like I have to get it. They just customized the fitting and then they trimmed the end. It's kind of loud, but I'm putting on a belt. I didn't buy this belt here, but I brought it, so. They love my outfit, you hear that? They love it. I did add my sword just because I have it. This belt is obviously mine and this little piece is obviously mine, so I'm not gonna count that at all, but the rest of the look, cost me $340, but with tax, it was probably around 370. So we kept it under 400, which is crazy. I didn't know I could actually get an alpha here for this price. 
There were many other options I could have gone for that were much, much cheaper, but I would have sacrificed the quality of the material. So I'm glad I went with the items I found and I'm super happy with the turnout. And here's the final reveal.